What's going on everyone? My last video is uploading right now where we took this one apart. It's back together, sort of. <laughs> um, but we're continuing right away. Uh, we just got the red ring of light board that was on here. And I'm going to go ahead and desolder this one from the apparently non-working ring of light board that was on the Vader build. Oh, I'm still so excited for that one. So let's go ahead and desolder that and resolder it onto here. So to actually explain this yellow wire, it's going through there, goes right to our speaker. And that's basically a signal that's telling it that it's powering on. And that's what activates the uh, power up sound. And there's another wire from that board that goes same thing over to where the uh, eject button is. And that, uh, when you click that, it makes the other R2-D2 sound. That's what's loaded on there now. So, yeah, that's just a signal wire to tell it to make the sound because it's turning on. So we're going to desolder it from there. That's just where it was on the original Ring of Light board when I got this board that somebody had this speaker installed to. So we're going to take that off and solder it on the same spot onto this one. Hopefully this one has a little bit better gap under here to feed this wire that was a huge pain to push that underneath but I didn't want it sticking out anywhere I liked it tucked in nice like that so let's find my soldering iron and take care of that real quick all right just gonna check and see if that's hot enough all right so it was definitely hot enough so all we got to do now is touch that to the end of that wire give the wire a little bit of a tug and that'll come right off. Slide that wire out, and we're going to solder it back onto the same spot under this board here. New one. Soldered on. So now we just need to attach this, put the screws on. Now, the reason this was not working, and I kind of knew this would happen, um, like I said, I couldn't get another uh, clip just like that, in that exact size. And I need one, well... Which one is it? This one here. This is the one that's attached to right here, this board that's being powered. That's supposed to go to this one, and then you daisy chain another small one that has the same connectors on each side from here to here to power that fan. So I was hoping I could just bypass that one and power this, because like I said, I only had one extra one, and the other end was just bare wires. So unfortunately, I didn't know that in the listing that this one, as well as a couple of other fans in that uh, bundle, looked like they were kind of spliced into other things at some point. But uh, I was on honestly on the fence about having this one in here anyway. It's meant to be with a aluminum heat sink. So that's why there's this space here. So I kind of like the idea anyway of just taking this one out and putting the speaker, instead of it being on an angle, because that's the only way it could fit, actually mounting it to this back like it was because I like that and then we have this space here I can do the temperature display instead of trying to squeeze it in somewhere else so what we'll still have this extra fan here on the side which will be nice and the LED strip at the top here so we should still have red lights here here pretty much on all sides so yeah let's go ahead and take this out we're gonna put this in make sure it works and then we will uh, figure out where we're going to put the temperature display or wire that in, I guess. Um, yeah. This is 12 volts. All this stuff's 12 volts, basically. All right, got our standby light on. Hmm. Okay. So, for whatever reason, Attaching this wire to these ones that have different LEDs then renders the button useless. It still worked. I turned it on by the eject button. but And then I put another green one back on. Everything works fine. So, hmm. I think our option is going to either be having red LEDs or having the speaker on the startup. So, let's see, we pulled up here. It's just saying something about the stealth server. Um, 
Huh. Well, let me know in the comments. If it came down to either having the regular green LEDs with the working speaker upon startup, or, because I was really hoping to have all red LEDs on this one, or to have the red LEDs and no startup sound. It would still have the eject sounds, but, uh, hmm. It's got to be something, because obviously these LEDs will kind of bypass the ring of light, or the uh, error code red lights. So, hmm. I don't know, that's weird. Definitely weird. But I do know that other board did already have a problem, and that's why the Vader one wasn't turning on. So, that's interesting. But like I said, when I turned it on via the eject button, all the lights worked fine. So, and then it didn't want to turn back off via this button. So, also this fan's not spinning up either. <laughs> so, which could be an issue with where I had to reconnect it over on this side. But, um, hmm. Other than that, I mean, it seems to be working good, uh, our disk drive's good, this one is a flashed, it's got LT 3.0, I believe, and yeah, the nitro button was working good, hopefully that fits together well with the faceplate back on, I do remember installing one of these on one of my personal ones way back in the day, and I don't remember it quite fitting perfectly, but uh, yeah, I don't know, it worked. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Ring of Light. Um, if I should keep the green, if I do that, I wouldn't really want to include the controller with the red lights. I would want to do green as well. Um, but I'm hoping to do the red. So maybe there's another spot on this that you can solder to. But now I'm worried, now that I took it back off, it still doesn't want to power. So... And I mean, I barely touched this with the soldering iron. It does not take much to attach that. I can't imagine I damaged it, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure that one out. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, yeah, until I get that figured out, I can't really progress. Um, all I have to do is attach our temperature display and figure out what I'm going to do now with these fans as well. So, in a little bit of a pickle. But if we can't move forward with that, we still got this one to continue on with in the meantime. So, yeah. Again, let me know what you guys think. If it came down to it, would you rather have this with the green LEDs factory with the startup sound or just the eject sounds with the red ring of light? It's okay, because the Vader build is good, I think. Hopefully. I hate when stuff ends like this, but we'll see you in the next video.